Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So I want to talk a little bit today about what's happening in the uh, current housing market. Um, there's a lot of talk around recessions, around housing bubbles, uh, around, an, around an overall crash in the housing market. Um, I'm seeing a lot of agents use this as an opportunity to um, kind of sell you through all of the confusion. And what I mean by that is they're, they're, they're showing you statistics of the last five recessions that we've had. And in those last five recessions, I think four of the, uh, four of the five recessions, uh, housing has performed well, actually appreciated in four out of those five recessions. And they're using um, uh, those statistics to uh, kind of predict what's going to happen in this, in this particular uh, recession. Now, if I knew how to predict what was going to happen with housing, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today. I have no idea what's going to happen through this recession. Uh, I have no idea if we'll even enter into a full-blown recession. I know uh, the Fed's trying everything they can to put the brakes on uh, this potential recession, but um, there's still a lot of fear and uncertainty in, uh, in the economy and uh, in the overall housing market. Uh, as we sit here today, rates are hovering around five, five and a quarter percent. So they've uh, basically doubled in the last, uh, well, in the last 90 days uh, for sure. Um, the last 12 months, uh, we've seen a, a drastic change, uh, definitely, in the uh, the demand for housing. So, um, we're still seeing some great opportunities in the marketplace. Okay, five five and a quarter interest rate is a very normal interest rate. Frankly, this is where we should be uh, in uh, the overall uh, grand scheme of things. I think we just got there too fast. Uh, we just kind of ripped the bandaid off and and tried to pump the brakes on. Uh, the, the, the huge demand that was happening in the housing market. Um, so demand has slowed down um, just based on the fact that affordability has dropped a little bit. Um, is, there a, is there a bubble? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't think anybody does. Um, I, I don't think the, um, the signs point towards any sort of a crash in the housing market. Uh, we're definitely in uh, what I consider to be uh, an adjustment in the housing market. Probably the better term is, is uh, we're, we're normalizing and uh, we're entering into more of a normal housing market. What's happened the last two years is, is, is very, very far from normal, okay? The multiple offers selling for six figures over asking price, you know, 20 offers on a home, 50 showings on a home the first weekend it's on the market. That is not normal. So a lot of agents were just used to that uh, because they're new to the industry and that was their idea of normal. Uh, a normal housing market is uh, putting your home on the market and having it sit for 60, 90, 120 days on the market before you receive an offer and then negotiating with a buyer on the, uh, the, the, the price of the home and selling for somewhere between 97 and 98% of list price. That's kind of a normal housing market. Uh, you know, going on the market, selling in 24 hours for 110% you know, of asking price is far from normal. So uh, as we enter into a normal housing market, I think a lot of people um, are, are are scared uh, because they've got this idea that housing uh, should be what it was the last two years and that's just not the case so uh, are we gonna see a bubble I don't know I don't think anybody knows are we gonna see a crash I have no idea if the housing market will crash I fully anticipate just based on uh, very very low supply uh, we're still going to see a very uh, strong housing market. I feel that uh, uh, home prices will appreciate. They're not going to appreciate at 10, 20, 30 percent like they have in some markets the last two years. You know, we're probably looking at a normal two to five percent appreciation here over the next couple of years. Uh, and we'll probably continue to have interest rates rise slightly here over the next six months and then probably hover and, and land somewhere in the fives, which um, is a very normal interest rate. In fact, if you look at the 100-year history of interest rates, that's probably the overall average is somewhere in the 5 to 6%. So um, uh, me, as a 25-year veteran of the industry, I, uh, I, I like the direction the housing market is going. Uh, what, where, we, where we were the last two years, it just wasn't healthy. It wasn't good for me. It wasn't good for housing. It wasn't good for the economy. It wasn't good for anybody. Um, so it's time to close the chapter on what's happened the last two years. That housing market is over. It will never happen again. You'll never see uh, what we saw the last two years. So if you're, if you're in this wait mentality of let's wait and see uh, when it gets back to where we were, uh, we're not going to get back there. It's, it'll never happen. Uh, that was uh, a record-breaking 24 months based on uh, very low interest rates, based on high demand, 
very low supply. Uh, and, and I keep going back to this based on a fear of missing out. You know, a lot of people just didn't want to miss out on what was happening because everybody was doing it, so they felt they should do it. Um, you know, as we sit here today, lumber prices have dropped like 15, 20 percent. So that just means uh, demand has gone down. That needed to happen. There was a shortage. Lumber prices were way too high. So um, I, I think we're cycling into um, a more normal housing market. Um, now, a lot of this can be affected uh, by what happens in the overall economy, right? Five, six, seven dollars a gallon for gas isn't uh, isn't good for housing or good for anybody. Um, you know, the stock market's been on kind of rocky ground the last 90 days or so, for sure the last 30 days. So there's a lot of moving parts in the economy that could uh, ultimately have a, um, a negative effect on housing. So it's really hard for anybody pr to predict what's going to happen. And for somebody to say that, um, you know, uh, housing, uh, the bubble's not going to burst in housing, you know, it's wrong of me to say that. It's wrong of anybody to say that because we just don't know that that's going to happen. So um, overall, is it a good time to buy or sell? Yes. If you need to buy or sell, it's still a great time to buy or sell. Um, you know, I think there's some opportunities for buyers right now in the marketplace because a lot of buyers have taken kind of a backseat approach to this and they're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. Um, and I, really, I think what's going to happen is it's going to be like this 30, 60, 90 days from now. Um, so I think waiting doesn't necessarily buy you anything. Uh, and uh, a lot of sellers are kind of in a little bit of a panic mode because they're believing everything everything the media says uh, and they believe that the housing market's going to crash so they're hurrying up and, and trying to put their homes on the market so you're seeing inventory pick up in fact the month of may uh, was the first time in the last two years we've seen an increase uh, a percentage increase in housing inventory uh, in my local market so um, if you're thinking of buying or selling feel free to reach out uh, i can guide you through the process you know you look in this market, you need to have a good, proven, full-time professional because it's changing every day. Uh, the market and the dynamics of the market have changed every day the last uh, 90 days. And uh, I can't predict what the future is going to hold, but I can tell you what's happening a day in and day out in the housing market. And there's still some really good um, uh, high demand for certain product in the housing market. Homes with pools still have a high demand. Uh, homes on a little bit of acreage still have a high demand. So there's still a really high demand for certain products in our industry. Uh, others, uh, there's th that demand has softened a little bit. So feel free to reach out if I can help in any way. Hope you're having a great day and uh, we'll talk soon.